Attacking the Wheat King line for Yakumchuk. Yakumchuk stops up at the left point, sends it across to Wetch. Wetch feeds it back up front. Big rebound. Score! Manti sprawled out and made a great block on the initial pass, but just his bad luck, it pops loose for Kindle, and Kindle keeps a goal-scoring streak going to put the Hitman up 1-0. But it's picked off by Wetch quickly up ice to Fawcett with a step up the left side. Fawcett walks in and fires, punched away by Eskett. Up the left side and find Baumuller at the right. Breaking in at the right circle, Baumuller fires, punched away by Buenaventura. Ice. Band on his pass, got taken down. Mays has room to walk in alone. Mays into the clear, stopped by Eskett. Big rebound, Eskett stopped that too. The puck, spinning on a four check, his pass bounces back out front. Valiant spins and fires. Eskett the pad save. Rebound for more, blocked by Alec. The right side, at the right circle, sends it over to Klippenstein for a shot. Fearless save by Buenaventura as he sprawled out with the blocker. The right point, off to Manti at the left. Into the middle for Jacobson. He'll move to his left and pull the trigger through traffic save. Rebound for Flamin, scores! Under siege at one end, but the Wheat Kings respond. It's Flamin from Jacobson and we're tied. You know, that might be the biggest goal of this game. Wind trying to lift it loose as Klippenstein and Yakimchuk joust with one another. The puck comes to slot for a shot, scores! It's Kendall again, the beneficiary of another bounce as it pops to him right in the high danger area. And again, he cashes in. Weak Things trying to fight it ahead. Michaels on the far side, feeds Hadlin in the middle. Hadlin dragging it on his backhand, working it back out front for Baumuller, scores! 34.9! Well, 24 hours ago, the Wheat Kings were... As the Hitmen try to reset on their power play. Long lead feet, Springs, Carson, Wetch. The captain's in alone to the back end. Put it wide. They'll trade places. Tulk along the umbrella. Carries to his right. Feeds it across to Yakimchuk for a shot. Scores! Perfectly executed switch-up play as Tulk and Yakimchuk traded places. And Carter Yakimchuk pounds home the go-ahead goal. Wetch uh -huh. just inside the Wheat King line, handing it off to Kendall. Kendall fires off the post. He was hunting the hatch. Fawcett down to the corner. He sends it back out front to Wetch. From the left circle, he fires it back door. Big time stop by Eskett with a left pad. Hammond over the line to his right, feeding it across to Baumuller at the left circle for a shot of a shin pad and wide. Alec pinches up from the right point and unloads. Buenaventura the save, and he hangs on. Aaron throws it back out front, just missed Turco. Klippenstein a follow-up, dry shoulder save. Rebound for Flamin the try. Buenaventura shouldered that too. Alec at the right point. Alec goes down to Baumuller at the right circle off the goal line comes Baumuller for a shot steered away by Buenaventura the left circle back to Manti at the top Manti to Shipley at the right side they'll trade spots Shipley moves to the middle and fire scores Luke Shipley with the dart from distance and we're tied with under a minute to go Five to go in overtime win with speed makes a move on Kindle and drives up the near side at the left circle he cuts back to the middle win still and fire scores and Marcus Wind waltzes right in end to end all alone and roofs it top shelf for the game winner for the Brandon Wheat Kings. Well, you'll see that goal by Marcus Wind on the plays of the week. I shouldn't wonder. And the Wheat Kings with three of four on the weekend send 4,000 plus home happy from Willie's birthday at West Toba Place. Final score, Wheat Kings four, Hitman three in overtime. Wheat Kings on the better end of an overtime decision this time around.